What's up everybody, welcome back, and uh, we have another trailer to react to today, it's for Devil May Cry 5, and it says it's the final trailer, but I feel like there will be another launch trailer closer to the release date, but this game comes out a week from today I believe, so yeah, I mean there have been a lot of trailers leading up to uh, the release date, you know, character specific trailers for Dante, Virgil, I mean Dante, V, uh, and Nero, I don't think Virgil's in it. Um, maybe he is. A lot of people are speculating that Virgil's in the game. Maybe we'll see him in this trailer. But yeah, you had uh, gameplay for Dante, V, and Nero. Uh, just seeing how they play and how the game is and how smooth it runs. Um, and of course, they also have all the pre-order bonuses and stuff. But I'm curious what this be able to show us in this trailer because they've shown us a lot. And, you know, they've shown us a story and kind of like bones the bones of the story so maybe uh it'll all come together in this trailer let's see what is that what is this, evangelion oh everyone's together that's pretty cool Is a Sephiroth? Virgil. Come here. If I don't return, you must run by yourself, is that alone. Eva? Is that Eva? You must change your name. Forget your past and start a new life. As someone else. Mm. A new beginning. Mm. Looks like we still got a long ways to go. This is your legacy. Wow. I was not expecting that kind of tone for the end. There's Virgil. He's back, baby. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I was not expecting the trailer to kind of end on that somber note. Uh, which makes me believe that this game will be an end of sorts. I feel like they're kind of bringing the story full circle. And I guess they're kind of uh, looking back to the childhood of Dante and Virgil. Um, are they retconning stuff? Like, are th is that why they're including the flashback of Eva, like, having whoever that is hide in the closet? Because um, we've explored that with Dante and Ver... Well, more for Dante. M a little bit for Virgil. Man, it makes me kind of assume that V is going to play a part in the picture as well. Uh, will they finally uh, confirm that Nero is... Virgil's son. That's like the heavy speculation, even from Devil May Cry 4, um, that, yeah, Virgil had a son, and his name is Nero. But Virgil's back in this game, so it kind of makes me wonder how full circle they're going to come with this game. 
because the chronology, chronological timeline so far that we know is DMC 3, 1, 4, 2, and then this takes place supposedly after 2. So, I might be wrong, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, story-wise, I feel like, hmm, like they're hitting a lot of the same beats, but just flashier, and that's not a bad thing, because uh, I like the team behind this game, but yeah, it feels like they're kind of bringing things to an end, <laughs> talking about legacy, and I like how they showed each character before the trailer ended, it's like... Ooh, well, do we have like a ending where the the Sparta twins, the sons of Sparta, will not make it in the end? Is Nero going to make it in the end? But we'll see. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I I I don't know. I have like mixed feelings of the trailer. I know the game will be great, but I, I'm just kind of like emotionally, kind of emotionally shook right now because it feels like the game. Uh, or the story will kind of wrap up the Son of Sparta kind of story. But in any case, I know the game will do well. It's going to probably be a great action game anyway. Um, I'm still curious about how the multiplayer will be. I need to look that up. But I know that many of you are excited out there. And What are you excited for? Uh, do you have any, any speculations about the story? Um, do you think it will be an end of sorts for the Sons of Sparta? Let me know in the comments below, and as always, thanks for hanging out, and see you in the next video.